try to create the design of the flat model, the enclosed world. And if I get to any point in that where something just does not jibe, I'm just going to abandon the whole thing and say it's crap and, and people you know, shouldn't. Ch shouldn't be bothered with this because it's crap. Okay, it does not travel for billions of miles. It's really close. There it is, little tiny, close little sun, a few thousand miles at best. Now I've got, you don't get the music. Not quite so attractive. Light speeds, that, that's a mistake scientists have made. Small and local. Well, is it? Lemon is, well, uh, approximately six inches up which is to scale 3,000 miles above my vantage point, which is this little camera here, uh, which, as you can see, I can move. And this is a sta on the stationary, this is on the stationary plane of the flat earth model. This is a turntable which simulates the sun moving. So as I move this around, the vantage point stays mostly the same and I can look at different areas but the whole point of this is I'm always going to look at the, the sun so here we are on the flat earth the sun 3000 miles up and we're here in the south of England at a latitude of 51 degrees which is exactly where I live here in Sussex and this camera is looking at this lemon or the Sun which I shall give a little bit more realism to everyone the Sun is rising now notice there is something strange about this the Sun is rising at 6 o'clock and yet look at that angle here it's already risen the sun never sets on a flat earth model. In fact, if you do a little calculation, at midnight, from where I live, the sun is still 22 degrees above the horizon. Um, this makes no sense at all. Nobody has satisfactorily explained it. Nobody's even really tried what happened. <laughs> Let's look at it from the morning point of view. And in the morning, it will get bigger and bigger. People say, oh, it does, it does, I've seen it. Well, yes, maybe there's some sort of either fakery or some effect of cloudy conditions. But that doesn't really happen, and I'm going to prove it to you, and I'm going to show you how you can prove it to everybody. Using this stuff, which I bought off good old eBay, which is um, a solar film. This solar film is, uh, well, quite expensive, but I'll sell you a little bit on eBay, just a little tiny bit, and I'll show you what to do with it. This is what I did with it. Um, it's a Casio Exilim. And here's my homemade uh, filter that I used to take some photos, which I'll show you in a minute, of our sun. We've got a bit of sun here, even here in Sussex lately, so I made full use of my solar filter. All right. I put a bit of blue tack on there. I've made a cardboard uh, little like a slide with a bit of this stuff in, and then if you can see this just fits on there, just sticks on there. Nothing very high tech, it's just using blue tack, hold it on. There we are. Don't want to 
hurt, push too hard. And then I can go out with this camera, as I have actually I've already done this, and I can point this at the sun and I will see a sun on the back there, you know, not too bright, but it doesn't damage the camera because it's a very good solar film. But Full it's zoom. A tiny bit, so um, that's all you need. A camera, tiny bit of solar film. And you too can make these observations. I, I put the camera on full zoom, full, full zoom. zoom like that for each of these photographs, which I'm about to show you. And um, I've taken pictures at different times of the day, corresponding to these times on my little model here. Oh yeah, this is the equator, the ice wall. Where's the ice wall? It should be way out here somewhere. There'll be another 14 inches. No, another seven inches to the ice wall. There, there's the ice wall, yeah? And on a flat earth, I would like to point out, you should be able to see the ice wall. But you can't see the ice wall, which is another little bit of a problem. Uh, and just beware of making up nonsense. There's no need to make up nonsense. You can do tests, you can experiment. You don't need to trust anybody. You certainly don't trust everybody you see on the internet. You can do an experiment, you can prove these things for yourself. Okay. Any point in that where something just does not jibe, I'm just going to abandon the whole thing and say it's crap and, and people, you know, shouldn't chill. Thank you. 